Alright, in this video we're going to be working on the wheel well boxes here, so let's get into it. I made these uh, little cardboard templates just to uh, check the different dimensions that I made to make sure that it would work right. I think I've gotten some pretty good dimensions. So the plan is to have the plywood pieces like this, and then the last piece will just go on top of here like this. And I'm planning on just using like pocket screws, attaching the plywood pieces together using those. Okay, in order to cut the plywood pieces, I've just been using my circular saw, and then I have this Craig AccuCut guide that helps you get straight cuts. And I'm just using three quarter inch plywood, and then just put it on top of this two inch foam, just cutting through the uh, foam like that when I cut each individual piece, and that's been working okay. So the wheel well box is just, uh, there's two side pieces, and then there's the front piece, and then there's the top piece that rests on top of the other three pieces. So this is basically the side piece here. I have to cut this a little bit shorter. This is about, this is gonna be about eight inches across, and then about 13 5 8 inch tall, something like that. So these are like the uh, measurements that I got for the individual pieces. So I'm just going to use all pocket hole screws to uh, connect everything together with the plywood and everything. And for these pieces I'm just going to do three pocket holes right along here and then that's going to touch up like this. Okay now I got the pocket holes drilled out for these side pieces and I just kind of eyeballed it just try to even space them in the middle here so now on the outside face of the side piece I'm just gonna do four pocket holes two down here and then two on the top and these two are gonna attach to the floor of the fan and these two attach to the top piece of plywood and I'm doing those on the outside of the plywood box just because uh, that way I can actually get to the uh, screws with my drill and the top piece goes on last, so I'm putting those on the outside, yeah, so that way I can get to the uh, screws for my drill. Awesome, so we got the four clock hole screws are on the outside of the side pieces here. Now I just gotta move on to the front face there. So for the front piece here, I'm just gonna put four pocket hole screws on the bottom part and then four on the top part. Um, this is gonna be on the outside of the face of the box. So for this front piece, I'm just putting this little kind of like wood spacer piece here. So that way it's level with the pocket hole jig here while I'm drilling in the pocket holes. Okay, so I got the side pieces screwed into the front face piece here, and now I need to screw it into the floor all along here and on the sides. So the side pieces aren't really perfect at a, at a right angle. Uh, I didn't really use a clamp to uh, when I was screwing in the pocket hole screws. So if you had like a right angle clamp, that would help you know get these. Perfect perfect at right angles, you probably need to have a clamp in order to do that. I was able to get it more at a right angle on the other box, the one that I did first over here, so yeah, it really doesn't matter that much for this box, because it's just like a box that goes over like the wheel well here, so it doesn't really have to be perfect. But yeah, now we just gotta do it, we'll print the screws here and then uh, go from there. Okay, now that we've got all the screws 
into the plywood and into the floor, it feels pretty sturdy. But even without like a piece on top, it feels pretty sturdy on here. Now I just gotta make the top piece of plywood. Now they got the top lid cut out. But it overhangs the edges just some. So I'm going to mark underneath where it kind of lines up with the edges of the side pieces and everything. And then she's my jigsaw to kind of cut it along there. Okay, so I trimmed down the edges of the top piece of my jigsaw. Now it seems to line up with the edges of the other pieces of plywood that are now. The next thing I'm gonna do is mark where the bolts are in the framing here. So I'm gonna put four pocket bolt screws to the top piece here that's gonna screw into the uh, framing wood piece here. Okay, I got the pocket holes into the plywood here. It looks like it should work pretty well. The next thing I'm gonna do is uh, stuff the inside here with this havelock wool insulation that I have. Okay, awesome, I got the havelock wool stuffed inside the box here, now I just gotta screw on the uh, top plate, then it'll be done. box is done which is awesome it feels really sturdy so they both feel really sturdy I can actually sit on them and uh, it seems fine so it's great I feel like it went pretty well so I'd never done anything like this with plywood before I never used a circular saw before what's nice about this is that if it's your first time like building something like this out of plywood then it, you know, it doesn't really have to be perfect. You're just like making a box around something, and um, so I feel like you know it's a good like first uh, project to do with like plywood. Uh, that concludes this video. If you want to see more of the van build, just check out my channel called Thrill Time Van Life. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.